What's going on guys, Got the Trails, I'm Jimmy, and back at another video. All right, so I'm gonna get straight to the bullets here. Uh, I'm gonna be shooting today only the um, Smith & Wesson SD40VE. Now, I did a video right there. Uh, and my review on the gun was not so good. Um, Smith & Wesson is a great brand. You know, I love I love Smith & Wesson guns. But this, this gun in particular is not the best. Um, and the reason why is because, I mean, just look at the video that I did, and, and you'll see the reason why. Now, again, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a, a overall bad gun. You know, it's a good gun. It's a good budget gun, really. It's a good pistol gun. Uh, almost just ran over squirrel. Anyways, so it's a good, it's a good, you know, budget gun. If you like the, uh, you know, the 40 caliber family category there. Um, I, ne I never owned a 40 before. Before uh, I bought the SD40 VE. Uh, but man. I did give the long story short, guys. I, I did give the gun uh, a six out of ten. It's not my favorite gun in my collection, um, but you know, like I like I promised you guys, I told you guys, I was gonna take it to the range, and uh, you know, we're gonna go ahead and see how it shoots and really rate it from there because you know, I did again. I, I ran it through the inside range and it, it didn't. It did kind of pour. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if it was a bullet. I'm not sure if it was me, but today we're gonna find out because I did get new bullets and you know, I'm gonna Just do what I do and as you can tell it's raining outside um, but I'm Still gonna go ahead and go uh, It sucks that it's raining outside because I was kind of hoping it wasn't again <laughs> I'm not sure how reliable this gun is um, due to my review that I did Putting in the rain is probably not a good idea. All right, so uh, we're gonna go to the rifle range. Uh, I guess they have an event in the pistol range, so uh, I, I talked to one of the guys and he said that uh, I can go ahead and make the pistol range, uh, I'm sorry, the rifle range available. Let's go see what I hit. Okay, so we got one, two, looks like three, four, and five. It's about fifty percent at the target. That didn't do so good. All right, so just to uh, show you guys, so this is at uh, 25 yards right here. So right here, we got, I didn't get a chance to use those targets, but I use all these, all this. So we got one and we got a couple on the outside. Um, so the Agulia bullets, they weren't liking my gun too. They weren't liking the gun too long, too uh, too good, but 
the Winchesters, they did run through perfectly fine. And of course the Hornadies, they're, they ran through perfectly fine. So there goes that. All right, so I'm leaving now. Um, I did have somebody uh, next to me. Um, he was shooting a rifle and I, I couldn't really talk much, um, but we talked a little bit. Anyways, um, yeah. So we got some things to talk about. We have some things to talk about. All right, so um, leaving the gun range now. So I couldn't really uh, give you guys the full, you know, uh, like, like shooting details, I guess, because uh, the dude was just talking my ear off and I couldn't really, I had little time to even shoot because um, it's getting late and uh, I got to meet the girl. Can I meet my girlfriend? Um, yeah, so, okay, so the gun, and, well, he did tell me, um, he, he's a pistol expert. He runs the, the pistol range uh, down here. So he did tell me, you know, after shooting, he's been shooting for like 20 plus years that, and it, it is true, that the primer for the Agulia bullets, um, it, 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 it's just, it's too hard for the firing pin to strike. So that's why I've been, I've been having misfires and all that stuff. Um, I, again, I did use the Winchesters and those just, they, they, they ran right, you know, through it perfectly fine. And the Hornady's uh, critical defense. So those, they're in perfectly fine. So the Agulias, of course, I'm, not, I'm never going to get again. Uh, I mean, it is, you know, it is reliable. It is reliable ammo. But, you know, not not good for my gun. That's the Smith & Wesson NC40BE. Anyways, uh, guys, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are trying to get a thousand subscribers. And leave, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I know I did a video of, of you know saying that why I didn't like the gun and all that stuff. Um, after shooting you guys, it w it really wasn't too bad. I mean, it, it was it wasn't bad. It's it's kind of if you if you've been to the range and you know it, there's a big difference. It's a, the feeling of shooting outdoors rather than indoors. I don't know. It kind of it connects you to the gun more. But anyways, would I say that I would still use it as a, as a self-defense gun? Uh, I wouldn't use it as a self-defense gun. Overall, I would say uh, the gun is about a seven out of 10 now, uh, due, to, due to the fact because I did, you know, understand the whole, you know, bullet aspects of, of shooting with the SD40 VE. And, but either way, you know, again, it's still a gun that is gonna be my collection. I mean, I'm gonna take it out, you know, every now and then just to put some rounds through it. Um, before I even clean it and also also what I do got to mention is um, The recoil you'll notice um, when I was shooting the, the, the gun that the recoil was a little Was a little much. Um, that's just this is my my fault I got to train with the gun more just to kind of get used to the feel of the recoil um, It was jumping back a little bit. Um, I got to work on my grip more But before my grip wasn't even as close to, to what it was as you've seen So just wanted to let you guys know that it's not it's not the gun Obviously, it's, it's the the gunner, so just want to give you guys some insight on that. And another thing I gotta mention, I forgot to mention, was the trigger, man. That's the most important thing I wanted to check out was the trigger. And I gotta say, and I want to like it, but I just don't. I gave it a, a second chance, and it just I don't know. It just it doesn't click well with me. It's it's too spongy, and it's, at times it was unpredictable, and it wasn't I don't know. It wasn't consistent. It, it was just too spongy. I thought when people said that it was spongy, I kind of thought it was just dumb. I kind of thought it was like, you know, they're just saying it because everybody else says it. No, it, it, it is, it's definitely spongy. Like if you have the gun or if you shot it before, you know what I'm talking about. And you know what I mean if you have it. Anyways, guys, uh, again, I'm, I'm ranting on too long this video. Make sure again, you leave a comment, leave a like. It helps out the channel. This is Guns and Trails. I'm Jimmy and I'm saying no. Peace.